Hello dear friends and customers, this is Alan Barton from the Guild of Theophilus and I'm speaking to you from our workshop in the historic city of Lincoln. I wanted to take a few moments to show to you some of the lovely Christmas greetings cards we've got on offer this year which are available to you through our webshop. We have a whole range of different designs to choose from, from the 15th century right through to the 19th century. All traditional designs as you would expect from the Guild. And each come in packs of five for three ninety nine, alongside uh, matching ivory envelopes. So we start our card selection with this image. Uh, it's a panel of polychrome wood, painted wood, from the uh, late 15th century. And it shows a typical and traditional uh, me late medieval scene of the nativity. There was Mary crowned, kneeling in front of the manger with the ox and the ass. Behind to one side is Joseph, fast asleep with his head against his staff. And in the top corner is a little angel um, with a incense censer. And down at the bottom, of course, is Christ himself in the manger, a sort of little adult figure almost, holding the orb of the world in his hand and blessing all those who view the scene. The second card is also a medieval English scene. It's a panel, a painted panel of an angel from the glorious root screen at Barton Turf in Norfolk. It's a panel that was painted in the 1420s or 1430s, but it's still as fresh now as it was then. It's part of a whole series of figures of angels from the uh, Nine Orders of Angels. In this particular case, this lively little messenger angel holds a spear in their hands, dressed in this gorgeous pink robe uh, with this lively um, stenciled green background behind. We move from the 15th century into the 19th century but we still remain with the Gothic with this delightful and tender image um, from a stained glass window um, of the Virgin and Child by the premier Gothic revivalist of the late 19th and early 20th century Seninian Comba. It's an absolutely delightful image, this. Mary stands crowned, holding her son, and as the second Eve, her son Christ, hands to her a little golden apple. For many of us, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without a reading again of Charles Dickens' famous novel, A Christmas Carol. First published in 1843, it was uh, illustrated by John Leach with a series of very lively uh, images. And we're offering this year two cards with these images. The first is this particular one, uh, which shows the Christmas Eve festivities at the house of Mr Fezziwig, who was... Uh, Ebenezer Scrooge's employer when he was an apprentice in his youth. It's a fantastic image. We've got Mr and Mrs Fezziwig themselves beginning the ball. They're dancing away under the mistletoe. Mrs Fezziwig in her best yellow gown and Mr Fezziwig in his striped stockings. Our second image from A Christmas Carol is this one, probably one of the most famous of them all. As uh, midnight strikes for the second time, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge is um, greeted by his second ghost visitor, as predicted by Jacob Marley. Uh, he sees a light appear under his door and he opens the door to see this extraordinary scene. The ghost of Christmas present, there he is in all his finery. The room is full to overflowing with Christmas fare and Christmas drink. The final three cards we have are on offer this year are reproductions of original uh, 19th century Christmas cards. The first is this one here which shows a delightful wreath of, of uh, holly and mistletoe tied together with a lovely little blue ribbon and a Christmas greeting below. It is traditional and also really very evocative. 
For the second of our 19th century cards we stay with a floral theme and at the bottom of this card is a lovely little display of winter flowers uh, and winter colour. We have a sprig of holly, we have some mistletoe and some snowdrops. Above that is a little Gothic revival inscription, a delightful little thing. Wait on all whose hearts are turned to greet him, for decked with smiles he comes to those who care with smiles to meet him. A Merry Christmas then to thee, and all thou lovest, where'er they be. Our final card is this delightful scene. It's the Adoration of the Magi, again a wonderful chromolithograph from the 19th century from an original Victorian Christmas card. The Virgin and Child in the centre, the wise men presenting their gifts to the infant. And below, a little inscription that links the Incarnation, the first coming of Christ, to his crucifixion. Trace we the babe who hath redeemed our loss from the rude manger to the bitter cross. Thanks so much for watching this far. Thank you for watching A Man Multitask because I'm speaking at the same time as I'm laying these cards out so speaking while my arms are moving is not necessarily a very easy thing. Um, all the cards we offer are unique uh, and are of really high quality. They're printed on a 350 GSM uh, hard card stock. They come in packs of five and are offered with matching ivory envelopes. Thanks for getting this far and thank you all for your custom. May God bless you and I wish you a very happy Christmas when it comes.